got to be the zombies. Hey guys, welcome to Show Me Firearms. And yeah, as you can see, it's kind of a mess behind me here. Um, but that is actually not my property. That is, of course, where my backstop is at. That is somebody else's property. And some giant trees got cut down and just left out here. So that's really cool. It's just gonna be in the background of all my videos until it gets cleaned up by whoever did this. I bet you it was the zombies though, because if you guys remember back last fall, we had problems with zombies out here. Um, when we did the video where we shot the old stove, somebody had spray painted the stove red made it look all trashy and terrible. And also, somebody brought a skid steer back here and completely dug the place up and left giant piles of dirt everywhere. So, I do think we have a zombie infestation in these woods somewhere, and we may have to go hunt them down in a future video, but that's not what we're gonna be doing today. Let's take a look at what we're gonna be doing in today's video. Yeah, so we're gonna be shooting this trailer hitch today. Now this is just a standard two inch ball hitch that you see like literally everywhere. There's two areas I want to shoot it in. I want to shoot it back here on this flat part to see if we can punch through both sides of it right there because this, of course, is hollow right there. And I also want to shoot it in the actual ball part of the hitch because this is probably going to be the strongest part of this entire thing. So we're going to shoot it there and there, and we will be shooting it at a slight angle so that way if we do have any ricochets, they'll go off to the side and not straight back at me. So that's enough talking. Let's shut up and let's find out exactly how tough this ball hitch is. All right, 22 long rifle is up first, and this is gonna do absolutely nothing to that trailer hitch. All right, let's go check it out. So the 22 actually had enough energy to knock this thing over, which I'm kind of surprised about, honestly. So there's where we hit right here. Did absolutely nothing. Just left some lead stuck on there. Oh, you can even see a little mark from the spalling in that round right there on the log. And then, oh, there it is. You can see a tiny little divot right there where that round hit the ball part of this hitch. And I can feel a slight depression there, but basically did absolutely nothing to this trailer hitch. 9mm is up next, and I still think this is going to do absolutely nothing. Alright, we're going to go reset that before our next shot. Let's go check it out. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, look at that, will ya? So, there's where we hit the 9mm, and actually... That's starting to dent it right there. Yep, there is a slight depression right there. But we still did not punch through this part of the trailer hitch with 9mm. Oh, okay, so we had a bad shot right there. I was aiming for the ball right here. But we hit low, so let's do that one again, aiming for the ball on our hitch here. But back here, 9mm, while better than 22, still didn't even come close to going through. Okay, oh yeah, much better hit. We hit right there with our 9mm. Didn't even put a dent in it, just left some lead stuck on the surface right there, but no dent whatsoever from that 9. And you can see where all of our spalling impacted the hitch right there. That's pretty cool. All right, well, 9mm ain't going to do anything, so I think we're going to have to get even bigger. I know I didn't want to get a bigger gun either, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, unfortunately. All right, how about some 44 Magnum? Now, believe it or not, guys, I finally got my hands on some full metal jacket ammo, so really excited about that. Now, here's the deal. 44 Magnum is like a dollar, dollar ten around right now. It's not cheap, so... And as you guys know, I am not the best shot in the world. Like, I'm, I'll am i freely admit, I'm not very good. I may very well miss that target down there. So, if I don't get that perfect shot, out of these five rounds, then 44 Magnum just won't be a thing because I don't want to blow up too much money 
while I waste my time and your time missing. So let's hope I don't miss. See what we can do. That was a solid miss right there. There goes one dollar. All right, here we go. I have no idea what happened there. I saw stuff flying up. I don't know what I hit. I'm just wasting money over here. Not cool. I saw it move. But it should have gone flying if I gave it a good hit. Let's try it again. No good. Aha, that's what I'm looking for. And that was the fifth and final round, guys. We only got one good hit on it, not two like we were doing with the other calibers, but that I'll just have to do because this stuff ain't cheap. All right, well, 44 mag sent this thing flying the farthest, that's for sure. What do we got here? All right, so, oh, we hit right here. I was aiming right there, so still a bad shot, guys. Sorry about that. That's just my poor aiming ability for you. So, boy, this part right of the trailer hitch right here is really, really thick. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that if we had gotten a good shot back here, it would have gone through one side, probably not out the other side, but I would think it would have gone through this side right here. If we had gotten a good shot in the ball right there, I still think that would have done absolutely nothing. So, inconclusive results on 44 mag due to my poor aiming ability, but I can't afford to blow up more 44 mag ammo just to keep on missing it. So yeah, let's go ahead and kick it up to some rifles. What do you say? How about some 762 by 39 out of this AK? I think we hit high on that one. I'd say we nailed it. This is like a walk of shame coming down here, finding out did I get a good hit or not. And hey, check that out. Finally a good hit. Right there, right smack in the middle. Blew straight through the first side. Ooh, and almost out the other side. Big deformation right there where it tried very hard to come out, but could not quite make it. Okay, the final caliber that I'm gonna miss every single shot with today is 308 out of my Remington 783. If I can hit this thing, I believe it's gonna go straight through both sides of the tongue part of the hitch, and I think it's gonna leave a pretty good crater on the ball, but it will not go through. What do you guys think? Sound off in the comments down below, and let me know what you guys think. All right, time to miss. I didn't miss, but that doesn't necessarily mean I got a good hit. Let's go find out. Okay, what does the jury say? Oh, the jury says we got a good hit for 308. Right there, we blew straight through the first side, but did not come out the other side. All right, I see you. So 308 tried to come out right here, but couldn't quite make it. That's really not a whole lot more deformation than 762 by 39 over here. Crazy. All right, now, gotta hit that part. That seems to be the part I struggle with the most in today's video. Yeah, we'll see if we can make it happen. All right, 308 went straight at the ball on the hitch. Hmm, can we make it happen? We can, and I know that was a good hit because I felt chunks of stuff come back and hit me. Let's go check it out. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Whoa, look at that. So, huge crater left behind from 308. So that round came in impacted and sent chunks of stuff flying straight back out. And actually some of that stuff came back and hit me. 
fortunately that stuff didn't have any energy behind it because it was not painful at all well there you have it guys this trailer hitch i'm telling you is pretty tough like the most surprising thing for me is that three way to not go through this side right here that surprised me i knew that the ball would be really really tough i thought three way would go through right here but it did not well there you have it guys that is what some different calibers will do against your trailer hitch so i don't know which part of today's video you guys found to be more entertaining trailer hitch getting shot up or the fact that i cannot hit the broad side of a barn with either 44 magnum or 762 by 39 uh you know what but that's okay go ahead have some fun with it laughing me down in the comments if you want to because i'm not a great marksman i admit that and i'm just a silly gun tuber putting up videos that i shoot down here in the woods so yeah let's have some fun with it anyway thanks so much for watching today's video i really appreciate you all being here don't forget to like share and subscribe and until next time show me them firearms What a way to send off a monster mower, am I right? So much freedom!